Rockabotko here with Orioles manager Buck Showalter for the latest edition of the Buck blog. And Buck, my math tells me as we tape this that we're down to the last 44 games of the regular season. How do these last 44 differ, just the general feeling from those first 44? Well, there's a certain sense of finality, but uh, you know, the last month of the season especially is an eternity. If you're trying to close out um, a good year or you're trying to catch up a little bit, uh, the games and the days inch along. And, uh, you know, there's, uh, there shouldn't be a different sense of urgency. If, if there is, then you kind of miss something. Uh, that's why I, I talk about April, May. They all mean something. But if you get too bogged down and the sky is falling or everything's perfect, you're really losing the reality of it. But, uh, you know, regardless of what other teams are doing in our division, we have to continue to, to stay focused on, on what we have to do. And uh, got a lot of people that it's easy to have confidence in. The schedule's loaded, of course, with division opponents this final month. Is that a good thing? Because in a, lot, in a sense, uh, the fate is in your hands, or does that just amp up the degree of difficulty? Well, I think that's why it was designed that way. I, I can't speak to the design of the rest of the schedule. <laughs> you know, if you're paranoid or you're alert, you think something's intentional. But, uh, uh, you know, going into the season, you look at certain things that you think are going to be real tough, and then that team struggles. Then you look at something that might be a little easier, and that team has a great year. So. You know, all that is everybody's got their tail of woe. Everybody's got uh, – every team has some uh, part of the schedule. And that's why it's hard to do. You know, it's that time of year. It's why they call it the dog days of, of summer because this is a time when it's hot and guys are, are beat up and tired and you're playing every day. There's no off day in sight. And one off day doesn't do anything, especially coming back from the West Coast. So, you know, that's why it's so gratifying if you can do it because you know everybody's facing some tough challenges and you just want to feel confident that you're going to seek your level and you're going to be as good as you're capable of being. And I feel like we will. And I'm just curious as the next to see what our level is. And, um, you know, we've been all year telling people telling us we shouldn't or couldn't or can't. And our guys thrive off that, and I hope they keep saying it. We won't debate why Arizona's here in September. But uh, Joey Ricker, what's the latest with him, and how much have you guys missed him? Well, Joey's uh, was a nice piece for us and uh, did a lot of good things. I think that's a good point, Rock. A lot of people just kind of move on, and it's an example to all of us that this game will just move on without us. But uh, Joey saw the doctor today. He's going to be in a splint for two to three more weeks. He had a pretty significant injury there. Uh, the good part is we don't have to do surgery on it. It wasn't completely detached, but uh, you got to let it heal, and you can't rush it. He'll be with us sometime in September, but uh, – uh, no setbacks, no bad news today. It's just he's where he's supposed to be in the process. And finally, there is a heated debate on social media right now. Maybe you've missed oh, it. Missed it <laughs> you missed it. Of whether Zach Britton should be considered for the Cy Young Award because he's a reliever. There are mm -hmm. plenty of people that say yes. There are others that say because he's not making nearly as many appearances and innings as a starter, he shouldn't be. What are your thoughts on that? And that's a short conversation. Of course he should be. I, and I think pitchers should be considered for MVPs. You know, try winning without him. You know, and uh, uh, I think that's when, when people scratch your head about our club, which I've heard they do, uh, the thing they miss is how locked down Zach's been. You know, the guy has five or six saves he doesn't get. I don't use the word blown. Blown means that you had something before, that you, but you haven't earned You have to earn it, and Zach earns it every night. And it's been such a great morale for us for Zach to be there at the end of the game and some other guys. So, uh, um, you know, try doing this without him. And I have, and it's uh, he, he's special, and he's having a special, special year, and it's been fun to watch. And uh, if he doesn't win it or is considered for it, then uh, they're not watching. He's Buck Showalter and Rock Abatko. Thanks for watching.